In this short video, we're going to look at how to calculate the pH of a weak acid. So the basic idea is that weak acids don't fully dissociate in water. So you can't use the strong acid formula. You have to do something a little bit more clever. So we consider ethanoic acid. So we've got ethanoic acid and it's dissociating into these two things. And in order to use the equation, we have to find out what the concentration of the H positive ions is. And because it's not fully dissociating, the majority is going to be undissociated. And so we can't just say that the concentration of ethanoic acid and the concentration of hydrogen ions are the same. We have to do something a lot more intelligent. And so we look at the dissociation constant, which is defined as the product of these two. So we've got the H plus ions and the conjugate base concentrations. And then on the bottom, this HB, is the concentration that does not dissociate. So some of it's going to dissociate and some of it's going to be left over. And so we can work with some slightly better letters. We're going to let the initial concentration be I. So that's concentration of ethanoic acid that we start with. And then we're going to let the concentrations of the uh, this B minus on the top here and the H plus be C. So we're going to define these two as C. And therefore, on the bottom, we can say that the amount that does not dissociate is going to be the initial concentration minus C. And so we can put that onto the denominator. And when we substitute all of this in, we get C times C on the top and then I minus C being the amount that does not dissociate. And so we get a new expression for the dissociation constant. And we can rearrange this to get a quadratic equation. And you'll see why we've done this, all right? We can now solve this equation and the positive solution of this equation, remember it's quadratic, you'll get two solutions, and only the positive solution we're gonna consider because you can't have a negative concentration, that's ridiculous. So we solve that equation and we will get the concentration which we can now use um, in the minus log H positive equation. So let's do a worked example, and hopefully things will make a lot more sense when you see a worked example. It's actually very simple, as long as you're familiar with solving quadratics, but we'll recap that. So the question is, what would the pH of 0 0.1 molar ethanoic acid be? And you've got a Ka value of 1.7 times 10 to the minus 5. And so from the previous slide, we came up with this equation, and really all you need to do is substitute and solve it. So we can substitute, and if you're familiar with quadratic equations, it should be no problem to solve that to get C. If you're not, quick reminder, you get the quadratic formula as shown. Sometimes some people prefer to have it written in terms of the uh, equation given, so you could just substitute into the equation for C, and it would also give you the solution. Again, remember, you're only taking the positive solution, and if you solve that with your calculator, you'll get the C is equal to that number. Of course, that would be in uh, moles per liter. And then we're going to get the pH by taking the base 10 logarithm of that minus uh, the base 10 logarithm, which is the simple pH uh, formula. That's the H plus concentration that's been substituted in. And when you put that in, you get a pH of 2.88. And that's the final answer. So hopefully, after you've seen this worked example, it'll take a second just to go back through what I've done that this will all make sense to you. And finally, thank you very much for watching.